Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. Now, here's a common problem. Players at the amateur level, especially at the lower levels, often get stuck in a pushing rally. They'll push, 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 push. They wait for an easy ball to attack, but you know, it never seems to come. So they keep on pushing and then they will either make a pushing error, Ugh, that was a waste of time, or they will push, 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 get frustrated and then just try to whack the ball, usually goes into the net. Ugh. Does this sound like you? Well, if it does, look, you're not alone. Pretty much every single table tennis player has to overcome the obstacle at some point of trying to beat one of these pushy type players. Um, and I had to go through that process as well. And I, I remember how frustrating it was losing to these players who just keep on pushing, pushing, pushing. It was just so incredibly frustrating. So how can you get out of these infuriating pushing rallies? Well, the absolutely number one thing that you need to do is to develop your top spin strokes. Now this could be a forehand top spin or it could be a backhand top spin. Okay, now these don't need to be world-class, professional, spectacular topspin strokes. They just need to be usable and reliable. Let's start with the forehand topspin. Now at its most basic, you need to get your bat below the ball, just a bit below the table. That's usually about right. You keep your bat angle straight, you wait for the ball just to come past the end of the table and then you swing up vertically, trying to brush up the back of the ball, okay? Now this will counter the backspin. It will allow you to lift the backspin and get the ball up over the net and down onto the other side. And it's the same thing with the backhand top spin, okay? You're gonna get your bat below the ball, just below the table. You're gonna keep your bat angle straight, okay? You're gonna wait for the ball just to come past the end of the table. Then you swing upwards, brushing up the back of the ball. Again, this will allow you to counter the backspin and lift the ball up over the net. Now these topspin shots, they don't have to be winners, okay? All you're doing is changing it from a slow pushing rally into a faster topspin rally, okay? And if you want to play this more open topspin style of game, because that's what you're better at, then think about these initial top spins as just a way of turning the rally into the sort of game that you want. Because once you've changed it from a slow pushing rally to a fast top spin rally, it's really hard to change it back again, okay? You kind of force your game upon the other opponent. So you just need to get the technique right, just spin the ball over, change it from a back spin rally to a top spin rally. Now let's deal with a couple of objections, a couple of, ah, yeah, but. And the first one I often hear is, ah, yeah, but the ball is too low. I can't possibly attack. The ball is too low. How can I attack that? Well, if you stand upright and you don't get down, then of course the ball seems like it's really low. It's like, oh, how can I possibly attack that? Or maybe I'll just push instead. But. If you already take a lower stance, okay, all of a sudden, ah, maybe the ball's not quite so low. And with your top spin technique, if you go down, and if you bring your head down with your bat, then all of a sudden, the ball is much more in your eye line and it doesn't seem low at all. The next objection I often hear is this. Ah, oh, but yeah, the ball is too short. I can't possibly attack it. It's too short, it's too short. Well, do you know what? Sometimes the ball is very short and it bounces 
two or three times on the table. In those situations, fine, player push. But I'd say this, 95% of the time when someone pushes at you, there is enough momentum in the ball that the second bounce will come past the end of the table. For all of those balls, you can play these top spin strokes. These top spin strokes, they're a game changer when you're playing against these pushing type of players. And to reiterate, these top spin strokes to begin with, they do not need to be anything spectacular. If you look at me in this video, my, my technique, it's okay, it's average, but it's usable, it's reliable, and crucially, it gets me out of these awful pushing rallies, okay? Easy, play a top spin stroke, and then you're into that faster game. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will have plenty more videos coming soon or take a look at one of these other videos. I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.